As I mentioned earlier, our guest today can be described as a veteran in the radio industry. He's been involved so long. John Cleary is a former presenter of Sunday Night on ABC Local Radio, and he's described as one of Australia's leading commentators on religious affairs. His career spans across radio and, of course, television. He's written a number of books, and I'm glad to say he's with us in the studio today. Welcome, John. Good to have you. Keith, pleasure to be here. Look, did, you, did, you, did you always plan or desire to, to go into media? No, but it was always an interest. I can remember when I was about 14 or 15 years of age, sitting in a Salvation Army service in Brunswick in Melbourne, and the ABC came along to record it for radio. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. And then about 20 years later, I'm... Um, a high school teacher in Bendigo in Victoria mm. and a mate sent through a note from Melbourne uh, from the ABC with a general offer for interest of people who are interested in radio production mm. and TV production um, in religion. Mm. And I thought, I remember this stuff. <laughs> and I applied, missed out. And in um, a second round of interviews, they said, look, we've got seven people want the job in Melbourne, but if you're prepared to go to Perth, you could have it tomorrow. <laughs> we won't say anything <laughs> about that anymore. <laughs> so tell me, what were the influences then? Because you know, there must have been some people or situation that influenced you. I think there, there were. There were oh, look, we, my family is not from a religious background. I was one of those who was taken along to the local Sunday school, Salvation Army Sunday school, by my mates around the street. Mm. And, of course, you get influenced by people there. And they were people who'd been out of the Second World War. A lot of them were returned soldiers. Some had suffered loss. And they rebuilt a community. Mm. And I just became part of that community mm. and was mm. absorbed into it. And your interest in the media came when I was at university in the 60s, mm. when uh, the late 60s, mm. when mm. social justice was the cry around the world and a few of us put together a little radical paper mm. that circulated in the Salvation mm. Army. We called it Impact. Yeah, one of my predecessors, Alan Walker, was involved in Vietnam and the French Indeed. missiles, lots of those issues yeah. that were important. Were and and it, was, it was every day asking you to think of your faith in terms of the world in which you were mm. a part. Mm. And uh, you couldn't live private well, a, a lot tried to, but it was very hard if you were a university student in those days. So entering the ABC came about by you uh, applying, really. Me applying. Some... And uh, the, the ABC in those days was somewhat different than it, mm. it is today. I mean, we're talking about the late 70s, early 80s, when the ABC was recognised as a national institution in much the same way the universities are. Mm -hmm. Like the BBC still is, to mm. some extent, mm -hmm. in Britain. And... Um, you had to go through a pretty sort of heavy series mm -hmm. of jumps to get to get inside the door. Highlights from that. Highlights, time? those years. I think that I, it, it's been a huge privilege. Um, the ABC sent me to to several uh, times overseas to watch the early years, for instance, of the. Um, Christian popular music revolution mm. with uh, going to, to conferences at, uh, in Colorado to see some of the best musical talent ar around the world, mm -hmm. the Christian world at the time, that were emerging into the popular music yeah. arena. And this yeah. is in the, in, the, uh, in the early 80s. Mm. Then later on to be sent by the ABC to, uh, to South Africa to, just after the release of Nelson Mandela mm. to spend a week on the road with Desmond Tutu mm -hmm. um, to be there in some of the worst and the mm -hmm. best Areas. I mean, it's, it's been an immense, immense privilege. And you've met some amazing people during that oh. time in the studio and conversation. And I think that's the, the other great... Well, to sit with Tutu mm -hmm. and have him explain to you that if you're going to do a Bible study, you've got to reach to where people are. You've got to think about mm. what people are going through. Mm. Mm. And to then see that put into action mm. the next mm. day mm -hmm. when he gets a telephone call to say there's been X number of people killed in a massacre, we've got to go down there. He said, we're going to see these people. And mm. to go into the midst of that civic violence, mm. I'll tell you one incident. Mm. We, we drive into this township called Seba King. There'd been a massacre the night before. The people are very angry. Mm. There's a column of, of church people come with Tutu in the cars. I'm in the car behind Tutu. The crowd stops him in the middle of the street because mm -hmm. there's stones and rocks and burning cars around. We get out. Tutu steps out onto the running board. The, the opens the door, steps on the edge of his car, leans over the bonnet of the car so people mm -hmm. can see him, mm -hmm. and they're shouting and angry and jumping. Mm -hmm. He said, what do you want? We want justice. So Tutu says, 
We want justice. And the crowd sing, we want justice. We want education. We want education. Mm -hmm. We want peace. We want peace. Let us pray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Honey, the, mm -hmm. the crowd. Now, at that moment, the police, mm -hmm. somebody says, the police are coming. And Tutu is praying. Mm -hmm. And I look around and hear these huge police mm -hmm. caspers, the armoured vehicles mm -hmm. coming down the street. Mm -hmm. Tutu had come with a number of people from the, Afri mm. from the South African Anglican Church, the bishops. Mm. I look around, mm. the noise stops, and I'm waiting for tear gas to mm. start. And I look around and nothing's happening mm. because the bishops and some young people dressed in choir robes and everything had stood in a line mm -hmm. between the police and Tutu in the crowd with their arms Just like to finish that. this part, I'm going to hold you for a minute. Quickly in a sentence, what has faith meant to you in all this? Faith is ev has to be evidenced. Mm, mm. I, and that was the evidence of mm, faith. Mm, mm. It, it was a, an evidence in people giving their, being willing to give their lives. Mm. John, somebody's overlooking this program and they're thinking about media in their own life. They'd like to have a go at that. Uh, what advice would you give to somebody like that? The media is changing very rapidly. I, I think what you need to do, if, you, if you're a Christian, looking at going into the media, is saying, what is the desperate need of our society? I think media is one of the desperate things. If you look at societies, civil societies that are in trouble, it's where the press and freedom of speech is in trouble. If you're a Christian wanting to speak and talk about Christ, you have to live that example in the media, and that means being honest and transparent enough to actually see the weaknesses in your own position quite mm. often. Mm. You're not here to flog one particular version of the faith. Mm. You're there to perform as an agent in society, mm -hmm. building a society for everyone. Mm. And as a young person, that means get to know an area of speciality. Mm. Mm. Take a degree seriously. Take history seriously. Mm -hmm. Take... Yeah, take an understanding of life seriously. I used to come in and talk with you on a Sunday night on a regular basis, and one of the things I'm conscious of, in a religious de religion department, you, you kind of have to be a witness as well, don't you, because you represent the Christian faith right. to so many. You, you expect it to be a representative of the Christian faith, whether you see yourself in that role or not. Yeah. You're cast in that role, <laughs> but you're also expected to be among the most transparently critical, mm. because if you're not critical in your analysis, they'll say, oh, you're just there to flog a product. Mm, mm, and uh, so mm. I, I think it, I mean, it is a genuinely, I found it a calling, uh, really, uh, that was fulfilling and challenging in almost every direction. Mm. Uh, and I would encourage young people to see media as critical mm. to both the future of the church, because it's lived action, it's lived truth, mm and as a witness to society on society, for the sake of society. Mm. John, thanks ever so much for coming in and, and turning the tables and talking a different way. You were very often interviewing me, so it was great to do that today with you.